How's it going guys? John. And why is my toolbox in the corner? Well, I'll show you. So, like I said in the last video, uh, I stood on my brakes loading this thing in the trailer and my brake light sensor uh, switch decided to blow up. Like pretty spectacularly. So, uh, like the whole front end just blew off. It was, it was pretty bad. So anyways, I replaced that. Now, when I was putting in the plug, it was an epic pain in the butt to get around the back side of the toolbox and to get anything in there. So I just said, well, okay, I'll just take off the toolbox. And there's a bunch of little bolts all along the side, on both sides, and you just take them off. And it was a, more of a pain in the ass to take off the toolbox, but I was happy I didn't have to fight with this in between it. So got it all taken apart, re-put it together with, uh, with thread sealant, and I know it's not the neatest thread sealing job there, but it works. And it's it's holding air just fine. Brake lights work again. I'm happy. Um, only other thing I want to do is these wires uh, were a little frayed. So I just wrapped them for the time being, but I'm going to get new Packard connectors and I'm going to get the proper gauge wire and I'm going to rerun those. So that's going to be a little project there. And I got to buy new hardware for these guys because walk on over to my toolbox bench do 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 yeah I snapped about a half a dozen of these little guys taking off that toolbox so a lot of them just didn't want to give a lot of them were in really poor shape so you can see that so got to go replace all these um, the old <laughs> when I say it blew apart in a spectator this entire front end was off and this was all that was there so that blew apart pretty spectacularly. Um, found parts of it all over the trailer, um, all these inner bits when it, when it blew up. So I went with the old one, um, the old style. You can get the newer one from Big Mike's. Uh, it, it works pretty great from what I'm told, but I opted to go for the older style. Not for any particular reason, except for uh, it was quicker shipping to me. Um, because there's another supplier that's on the west coast and it's easier to get parts that way now that I'm in Arizona So anyway, there's that so if you've ever got to replace that little guy Your brake pressure switch take off your toolbox. I did and it was super easy to replace that otherwise Good luck because it's just a pain in the ass to fight a wrench into there Because there's just no space to, to turn it so Yep, all right. See you guys later. Have a good one